This is Stuart McClellan of Stuart McClellan Productions. Today we have the opportunity to speak with Robert Lunte. He's the founder of The Vocalist Studio in Seattle, Washington. And he's also the author and producer of The Four Pillars of Singing, Definitive Techniques for the Modern Vocalist. Robert, I'd like to hear a little bit about your story. Can you tell us a little bit about your background leading up to the Vocalist Studio projects? Gladly. I'm just going to cut to the chase and take you to the period of time where I uh, graduated from the University of Miami with a bachelor's degree in in music industry and vocal performance as well as business administration. And I uh, came to Seattle, Washington in 1992. At that time, I I started dabbling with a voice training um, voice pedagogy, but it wasn't really until about 2000, 2001 that the business really started taking off. One of the things that makes um, the Vocalist Studio uh, unique and, you know, right from the get-go in those early years that, uh, you know, brought a lot of attention to what we do is, I like to call it our method. And, uh, you know, one of the things that we do that's really truly unique in the world is we, we, we train our vocal athletes on a live performance stage and we use amplification. We, I, I like to train singers for the 21st century, not the 16th century. It's been very effective and of course, as you can imagine, it's it's relevant to what most uh, voice students are looking for because we're actually training them in the facilities and in the environment that they aspire to work in. Robert, I'm going to mention some names to you. Uh, Chris Cornell, Jeff Tate, Lane Staley from Alice in Chains, and Ann Wilson of Heart. All of these people, including yourself as a protege, were students of the late maestro David P. Kyle. Could you tell us a little bit about Maestro Kyle and how it relates to the vocalist studio? Sure, I'd be glad to. Um, Maestro David Peter Kyle is my uh, mentor, and he was a famous voice coach that lived and ran a vocal studio here in Seattle, Washington for about 30 years. He trained the artist that you just mentioned. I worked with him for about 12 years as well. And uh, so that's really the the foundation of a lot of what we do at the Vocalist Studio and certainly an inspiration for the new levels of where I've taken it. In some ways I've taken the training and the techniques to the next logical step um, beyond uh, where David had left it when he passed away. But to be absolutely honest and, and to give him all the credit in the world, you know, today we still use m- about eight or ten workouts that come from his studio and uh, really my pedagogy is founded on on what I learned from training at David Kyle. Today there's many people that come to me purely based on on the fact that they are were on the internet looking for Maestro Kyle did not realize that he's passed away or were looking for a protege so I aspire to continue his legacy and I'm doing the best I can every day to uh, to honor that. So, Robert, you mentioned that TVS, the vocalist studio, is moving into the 21st century, and I can tell right away, I mean, working on a live performance stage, for starters, is definitely something a lot more practical than what we know as traditional voice lessons. Maybe you could talk to us a little bit about your technique and and what you specialize, how your methodology works at TVS. Sure, thanks for asking. Um, The technique is really focused on what I like to consider two fundamental skill sets that we train. And, and, and we call it bridging and connecting. Bridging simply means training the voice, the singer, to have the coordination and the strength and the muscle memory skills to be able to sing from a chest resonance seamlessly into a head resonance or some people erroneously refer to it as falsetto without the voice breaking without it yodeling without constriction and chest pulling the kinds of stress that singers will get into when they begin to sing at high velocities and begin to belt so once we can uh, train bridging a whole new world opens up for the singer we go from a two and a half octave range to a four or five octave range. We go from ch- singing in the chest voice all the time and chest voice training, as I call it, into full voice training, 
where we're again we're learning to to bring the head resonance and the chest resonance together now this is for the purpose of creating an illusion to the audience that the voice is completely one sound column and connected when in fact and we all have experienced it to, to one degree or another there is a for a lot of people a real sense of a chest voice and a head voice and those aren't the best terms to use in voice pedagogy we're trying to get away from that but I'm just for the practicality of this interview and what we want to do is we want to bring it all together now that's bridging connecting refers to once we are into the head resonance or the head voice turning falsetto notes into sounds that are full have formant that connect that have a, a chest nature to them so that when we do bridge successfully those head tones sound full and they match the lower voice by bringing bridging and connecting together we have achieved and removed the majority of what most singers are concerned about if you can bridge and connect there's not a whole lot that you can't do as a singer so I think those are the two most important things that, that uh, people are looking for and we dive right into it and it's hard but bridging and connecting is the most difficult thing that any student can endeavor to begin training and it's hard to find the answers and it's hard to find a, an instructor that understands how to train those skills but uh, we do it every day at, at TVS now Robert I've got a copy of your training system and I think the title says it all, really. The Four Pillars of Singing, Definitive Techniques for the Modern Vocalist. And just in the first few pages and in, in the work that it takes to get this together, it's extremely exciting. Can you tell us more about this training system? Sure. Be happy to. Um, this is a training system where we have combined a book, audio workouts with voiceovers, and about three to four hours of DVD tutorials. Now, there are a lot of training systems out there. You can get a book and you can get an audio CD of some piano scales. But what makes Pillars really unique is a couple things. First and foremost, the DVD is offering film footage of myself and some of my top students actually demonstrating singing through our 20 vocal workouts that we have at the Vocalist Studio. And we're doing this in our live performance stage with microphone in hand. So in a sense, we're leading by example. I, I'm not asking people that buy the training system to do things that I'm not prepared or can't do myself. That's part of it. And the other thing is, is for those who can't make it to Seattle, by being able to put in a DVD in your laptop or in your your DVD player at home, you have the ability to, to actually watch us do these scales, watch two or three other trained vocalists do the scales properly. Um, and uh, that's a really powerful um, educational tool. So we're taking advantage of all the media uh, uh, technology that's out there. Again, it's a book, it's a, it's a CD with workout scales on it, and then um, it's uh, video footage of uh, myself and some of our top students going through all of these workouts on stage. It's really cool. Now, I understand that you've been invited to different places around the world to do vocal workshops based on these techniques and the four pillars. If a vocalist attends your training vocal athletes workshop, what are they walking into? I think they're walking into um, one of the most exciting uh, vocal workshops in the business. What we're going to do is we're going to do about a three to four hour crash course on bridging and connecting. We're going to invite singers up to the stage where I'm going to show them some quick techniques to bridge through the passaggio and the break area. We're going to talk a little bit about building strong voices in the head voice. I'm going to show them techniques on how to do that. I'm going to demonstrate these techniques on a stage with amplification. And it's just kind of like spending four hours in Seattle in our studio here and it has been a big success. It's high energy, it's uh, um, extremely informative, 
the information that you're going to get you cannot find anywhere else or it's very difficult to find anywhere else it's entertaining I'm gonna sing for you and um, and then the usually in these workshop sessions we spend the following day or two doing a full day of private lessons uh, for the people that come to the workshops and I am very thankful for my colleagues who have invited me to do this workshop people like Joy Green and Olivier Tronquet I'll be doing a workshop in November with um, the vocal studio in Athens as well as Alessandro Del Vecchio in Milan so um, it's it's really not just about me when we do some of these workshops the training of vocal athletes workshop it's really uh, you know a team effort and and it's it's uh, you know, it comes together by partnering with other teachers and other schools. It's great. It, I mean, it's, um, as I say, it's it's very informative. It's a lot of fun, of course, but most importantly, the participants of the workshops enjoy this. They're getting a lot out of it. So at the end of the day, I'm really, really doing, uh, really providing a great service. So um, I'm very proud of that. And we're going to continue to grow. We're we're uh, building out a formal, um, you know, business plan and what have you. And I'm in contact with uh, people not only in Europe but here in North America as well. And we'll be doing more throughout the year. Man, that sounds like you probably just can't wait for any of that, Robert Lente. Our time has come to a close, unfortunately. But do you have any final thoughts for us today? My final thoughts would be if uh, if you have any problems with bridging or, or getting to high notes or if you're interested in developing out the head voice and having a seamless connected uh, vocal instrument with four to five octaves if you're interested in in distortion sounds give me a call send me an email I'm always available and um, I love to teach I love to help people out and by all means if we roll into your town with a uh, training vocal athletes workshop come check it out and I'd love to see you We've been speaking today with none other than Robert Lente from Seattle, Washington. His training system is entitled The Four Pillars of Singing, Definitive Techniques for the Modern Vocalist. You can reach him by his email address, which is robert at thevocaliststudio.com or on the web at www.thevocaliststudio.com where there's a lot more information and the opportunity to purchase Robert's program. So Robert Lente, thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, thanks for your time, Stuart. It's always great talking to you, my friend.